<clears throat> hey everybody, Amtrak and Southern Pacific Rail Fan here. Today I'm going to do a layout update and some of the best purchases I ever made. Car and locomotive wise. So here we go. We're going to start off with the cars. Um, number three and best purchases in cars was this Athern Ready to Roll High Q box car. It's good, nice detail. I like it. That was one of my best purchases because, um, it's unique in its own way, and I really like it. Thank God I picked it up. Um, then they got the scalechange.com train car, an operator version. It's actually really nice for an operator. It has a lot of separate by detail. But on the river counter, it's going to probably be more. But this is what we have in the counter. The scalechains.com. Uh, post 2006 water tender set. Coupler here is missing or broken because one day I was opening it up and the coupler was gone. So, don't know how that happened. But I had to replace it and then Jim Adams, or Joe Jordan, sorry. This is Jim Adams, that's Joe Jordan. Now, locomotion rise, we, I, you, you seen this, was this Athrun Genesis SD70M 4884. But the only problem with it I see is this back truck and it, it, it's, the gears are probably broken because it's, it's free riding, unlike these other ones, when you turn them a little, it's, they stall, but this one just keeps free rolling. I'm not sure if that's a defect or what I did, but if anyone does have this one, if it does that, then thank God, uh, but you know, next this is, it's actually a brass locomotive. Brass is equals metal. It was this calf forward articulated type steam locomotive. 4882. It's massive. Heavy too, but this is the only articulated locomotive I have in my roster. Uh, the articulation on this, like, it's really bad. I don't know. But yeah, it's really nice. It's massive and big and heavy. Hold on, let me take this off. Sorry about that. Put into the big ass yard of not let let's put it in the big yard of not not Taken, not taken care of. It's taken care of. Sorted out. Um, yard, yeah. But, and then we have this Union Pacific Heritage Mopac. Um, I bought an XD60M with it. Not with it, but I saw, when I bought the SD60M, I saw it. And then, I, and then, I know, after and discontinued, and then got worried that they didn't have it anymore. Went back there. Uh, they still had it, so I picked it up. Really happy that day. I also got an auto wreck with that, but, you know, stuff. And then we have something else here I'll show you. This car I made back in 2010, 9, 10, 11. Um, this is a galley car, Southern Pacific, bottomless wood. I think this is plastic, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I built it, but. And it come with the couplers or trucks, so I had to buy them separately, but it was one of them. Kind of kits like Athern yeah, Blue Box, but I don't. I'm not sure, but you know, I, you know that's a long while back ago, so I don't really remember that well. But here we go with the purchase oh, layout update. So you notice there's a big, uh, big piece of wood that is here. Well, that's because this layout is expanding. Um. Um, so I have this station. I'm going to put it in this part of the layout, hopefully. I'm not sure I'm going to do with it. I mean, I have some ideas. Let's make this. I got, let me get some track, straight track. Computer's doing weird things. I think it's updating. But, you know. But, um, it can either go three, four ways, maybe? can go, go this way, like two, two tracks, like next to each other, 
two track main line. Or you can go two tracks, then the station. Or three tracks. Three track main line. Or four track yard. But I'm not sure yet. I might go with the double main line or the double main line of the station. Those are the two options I would pick, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But then again, I don't know because I have to make it blend in with the layout that Cause I I don't want to start this early and then like finish it but the main layout cause it's gonna be like a modular layout so cause the main layout not be done and this done so that's kind of pretty bad but this is in the planning stages I still have to buy scenery for the permanent quote unquote oh, it's actually a permanent it's not permanent moving wise but permanent held down wise cause it's it's screwed on to a bookshelf, so not going away from that bookshelf unless I cut the top of the bookshelf off and I just gotta no I'm just kidding. <laughs> never mind. But uh yeah, thank you so much for watching this layout update three slash best purchases I ever made. Uh see you again next time. Uh if you wonder what the twentieth subscriber special is, I haven't released it yet. Because I don't know what to call them. Because I have another special video. Oh. Rip station. <laughs> and, but I'm not sure if that should be the 20th subscriber video special. Anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Have fun with trains. And keep doing what you're doing. And let you... And... Don't give up whatever hate comes towards you. Oh my god, I just made an inspirational speech. I gotta quit. I gotta quit watching other stupid stuff. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun with trains. Don't do drugs, kids. Goodbye.